Howdy, y'all. How y'all doing? I, um, well, I think I'm unprepared right now, but anyways, um, I wanted to talk a little bit about, uh, about my bad playing and all that. My, cause you know, I realize I'm, I don't play very well. Um, I don't think I've ever, um, put myself off as a guitar player. Actually, I'm, I am a wannabe luthier, wannabe guitar player. Um, always have been my entire life. Uh, but when, you know, the poopy hit the fan and, uh, I got the news of that cancer thing and all that. I, well, I tried, I tried, God, I tried so hard to go back to just plugging. I thought I was plug and play, could just plug myself back in. Um, it doesn't work. Uh, it, it really is almost like the matrix, man. It's like, they took me out of it, and then when they took me out, I tried to get back in, and I couldn't. Weird. Super weird. Um, I, after a while, stopped trying, and what I tried to do was get better, but then I realized I was only trying to get better for work, to get back to work, to get back to, I need to make money. Oh, my God, that's all I can do in my entire life. That's it. So... Um, my brain broke even more. Uh, and then I realized a lot of stuff. Um, and part of it is I'm pretty sure that the pressures of society and at least the way I was going about it for me, um, on my journey were probably killing me. Um, it was probably giving me the cancer. It probably did give me the cancer. Uh, as I get further away from it, things get better. So going back to a corporate world would just be insanity. How do I live then? I don't know. I'm still trying to figure this out. These things all have... Um, my, my path that I see would be going from a um, computer technician to a guitar technician, basically. The, it, not really because I was way more than a computer tech um, in IT and what I want to do with a quote unquote guitar tech is more of a luthier. And, um, so I, I just use those terms, but they're, they're not very correct uh, when I use them. It's just, um, the terms I use, uh, because they're quick, easy, efficient. And, um, if you would like an explanation of them, I can certainly provide one, but it's just way easier this way. Um, now I just got to stop myself from over explaining. But um, the other, the thing with me, the, the bad playing, see, I, I came around to it. But the thing with the, the bad playing for me is it, all of this ties in together. I'm trying to do absolutely everything all at once. And that's me. And that's the way I do things. It's the way I always have. But uh, it always seems in the beginning like I'm a complete and utter failure with everything that I'm doing because it's horrible. It's just horrible. But it is it is me learning and it is me pushing through all of the quote-unquote bullshit to get there. Um, and it is just you viewing me in my learning process um, because that's the way I do things. And I'm also doing it live because I have a big problem with, as you know, stage fright. So this, I hope, is helping me to get over that because in, in the future, I hope to have to, not really want to, but have to, just be, have to in a sense that this is what I want to do when it comes along with the territory. Not that I have to do it. it. It is just something that will come along with the territory because I want to do this, this um, charity thing. I want to give guitars away and to do something like that. It is a massive PR thing. I understand that. And um, with the massive PR stuff, you have to make public appearances. So I have to be credible in being a guitar player. Am I in my mind? No. Will I ever be? I think I really am a guitar player because no, I'm never going to be. I know. Even if I get as good as Clapton or, or as good as Stevie Ray or Hendrix or, or, or Eddie, um, I will never ever be a good guitar player because there's always something more to learn. And I know that, <laughs> but I got to be, you know, at least credible, you know, and uh, credible for me is the stuff that I love. And um, a lot of that is 80s music, you know, and I'm just learning this one because um, if my mom sees this, mom, I know you know the song. I'm sorry. 
I probably played this song, and I this isn't I I'd love to say '80s kids, but uh, the the album that I loved so much by the Cars came out in the '70s, late '70s, but I believe it was '79 when Candio came out. That was like, oh my God, that was, if you had Desert Island Discs, man, that is. Candio is definitely one of them. Start to finish album that uh, you, you can play all the way through. For me, Candio. I love the Cars Candio. Anyways, sorry, Mom. Uh, I think this song came from there. Driving away with a dim light on. She's making up there. She can't go wrong. She never waits long. Yeah. On a clock machine, then she won't give up. Cause she's 17. Never waits too long I don't want to hold her down I want to break her crown And she's sick though Let the door Tonight night baby I like tonight night baby she says, let's go. I'm still learning this thing, and it's just, you know, a lot of it is you can learn the chords, and that's what I do. I, I, I go out and look up the chords so I can get close, but most of the time, something in the tabs is wrong or something is a little off, so you got to kind of figure it out for yourself. And I actually like doing it that way. I've been doing it that way by design so I can hear better you know so i can pick those things out so that um things like stevie ray that just came to me and it was that 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 you know and th uh, more things are starting to come to me and uh you know one of the b hags that i've always had you know it's like um Folks got their, their, their quests in life. Uh, Islam's got Mecca. You know, um, the quest to, if you live in the United States, maybe you want to go see the Statue of Liberty. Uh, I lived there my entire life, never went to the joint. <laughs> but, uh, you know, guitar players, you want to emulate people. And, um, My generation I would uh, technically, I guess, be Eddie Van Halen, but um, there was also a dude playing the blues in my generation called Steve Ray Vaughan. Steve Ray Vaughan who was a big Hendrix fan, who is also mecca for us. You know, it's like, you know, if you can play Jimmy or Stevie or, or, or Eddie, you know, if you can make it sound half good, you, you, you're on your way to something, you know. Because those guys were all just freaking special as hell. And, um... going to take years to learn and it's taken me how long have i had when did i start listening to that song um jacqueline dawn J jd a girlfriend in high school should probably still pissed off at me for playing that song too much when uh, steve ray came out with that that live album live alive man and he was playing 
playing playing Hendrix, and then then oh my God, if you can listen to the version, it, it, when he plays it at, at Carnegie Hall at the end, he just goes, it's fun playing Steve, or, it's fun playing Jimmy, uh, Jimmy Hendrix, Carnegie Hall, and it's like you can just hear the joy that he got from that. I know I don't think I've ever seen him play it there, but I've just heard him and. Holy crap! That is a, an amazing version when he plays, when he plays, Rudy Child at Carnegie Hall. It's just like wow. And then yeah, you got to get the old joke. You know how to get to Carnegie Hall? Practice, practice, practice. Anyways, I just wanted to say hey to y'all. It's a little bit of a long mission statement, but uh, and I'm gonna be doing more of these in the future because I want this to happen. I want to get this this nonprofit thing off the ground because one I. I you know, that, that's a way for me to give back and also a way to sustain myself. But it's a way to, to I mean, if we have to make money, I would like to do it in a way that helps people instead of hurts them. So um, I would like to do something like that. Um, and I am accepting any help that anyone would like to give me. I'm starting from absolute scratch. I have n absolutely no idea where to start. And I kind of need one person who will say, hey, it's a great idea. I want to help. Um, so I'm going to keep going until I find somebody who can help me, man. And we're, we're going to get this done. We're going to get this thing started. And I don't care if I have to be the spokesperson for it. That's awesome. That's great. I'll go tour the country if I have to. But I really do want to work on the guitars, too. I want to do this stuff myself. I want to learn more. I want to, you know, create. I want to make custom guitars. I want, I got ideas in my head. A lot of them are electronics. That comes from the IT background and a low-level electronics, you know, but, um, and science, because I've always been into that. But, um, yeah, man, looking for somebody to help and, uh. If you can, you know, uh, keep subscribing, keep liking, subscribing, commenting. Um, I don't get that many comments, but I would love to answer more. Um, you know, just anything that anyone would like to say about uh, the mission here, I I'm all for it. And uh, um, yeah, man, if you guys see this and like what I'm trying to do, try and help. And we'll get her done, you know, make the world a better place. Anyways, I hope you all is having a great day. Always, always look up. Um, God's looking out for me, and I'm just trying to. Uh, I hope this is what what I've always been supposed to have been doing. I hope I'm on the right path now. Always look up. I'll see you then. Peace.